History on the go. This is history on the go. Here I come again. History on the go. Here I come again. Yeah, guys, I haven't uploaded anything in the last few weeks. I'm finding it quite difficult, to be honest with you. I have so much knowledge inside my head. To put it out sometimes, I'm just thinking I need to get it right before I upload it. And that seems to be a constant cycle. I'm not a perfectionist. I'm not a perfectionist, but I tend to be holding back on uploading the things that I've done already. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and stop doing that and I wanna give you exactly what I've got. I need to be uploading something every week. So I'm gonna try my best to do that. But right at this moment, I wanna be honest with you. I wanna say that I'm the kind of historian researcher that deals with honesty, deals with truth. And so, um, so what I want to say here is that we, we as human beings searching out the truth, we don't know the complete truth. We don't know all the facts. No matter what channel you look at, no matter what historian you're, that, that you're listening to, they can only give you partial truth, partial facts. That's just the way it is. And so let us be, um, when it comes to making comments and come to um, disagreeing with certain points that I might make, we need to do it in a sort of like, in humility, because we don't all know everything. But some of us have spent more time looking at things more than others. And I feel that I've got something to offer, and that's all it is. I'm not saying I know everything, I don't. But I, but I can give you something that you can chew on, something that you can go away with, and something that you could take further. So this channel is not about, it's not here for experts who think they know everything about history. It's not for you. The fact is, we don't all know fully everything, but we know something. So let's work with what we've got. Let's work with what I've got. This morning I got I got up this morning and I noticed on my phone there was a, a video clip that I did um, last year. I went to visit the British Museum and um, I love that place because it's close to where I live. I live in the UK and so I love going there and I love going to the Egyptian, Egyptian section. There is a bottom floor and a third floor in the British Museum. So in case you ever come to England, if you're not from England and you want to go there, the bottom floor and the third floor is where the British, um, see, sorry, the Egyptian collection is. Um, when I went recently, it was during this COVID time, um, there was a restriction on the third floor. I think they're doing some refurbishment up there. So I was kind of disappointed that I couldn't go up to that part because that's where the ancient... Um, they call it the ancient Egyptian collections are and um, but anyway what I want to say here is that I while I was going in there I did a little a short talk about the ethnicity of the Egyptians and so that's what I want to show you today uh, I want you to give me your feedback on it this video is not some conclusion to anything it's not a conclusive view of what who um, who I think the Egyptians are it's just some views that I that I just voiced on the street and um, I have a lot more views on it and so you, you will hear more about that so this channel is about that it's about me progressing through my journey and you're progressing along with me I've been on a long journey um, and I want to just reveal it off it bit by bit and I want to expose you to my doubts about certain things and so that you can realize that history is not <laughs> it's not black and white I'm telling you it's not black and white the more you go into it the more years you spent in it spend um, doing it the more you realize there's always something fresh there's always something new there's always another angle I didn't think about there's always another context I didn't think about and that's how it is um, but it takes time to get to that humbleness to humble yourself and say you know something i don't know everything but i know a lot there's still opening for more it's always opening for more um so that's the honesty i bring to you history on the go 
please subscribe to this channel. It's a channel that will take you on a journey. It's a channel that will explore your doubts, explore the things that you're not convinced about. And it will give you a chance to want to explore more. It's not about some conclusive truth, a conclusive, those channels that give you a conclusive truth, to me, you can go in them and watch them, it's okay, but don't feel to think that what you're hearing is always going to be concrete, okay? So please subscribe to my videos, History on the Go. Hit the notification button also. Thank you. Today I come to check out um, British Museum, one of the places that I've been to enough times, enough times. But I wanna um, get some images for a channel of mine that, I'm a, that I've been launching, History Channel. Um, so I've been up here a lot of times and I wanna, and I've always checked out the Egyptian section. I'm going back to the Egyptian section, which is the ground floor and third floor, I think it is. But what I wanna do is actually um, get some nice images with my camera and with my video camera also. So my still camera and my video camera get some nice images that I can use. Um, obviously we know that Egypt was based in, is in the African continent and so I want to just get some images so that in the very near future I want to create a video around um, based on Egypt. Um, also based on the controversy of like the ethnicity of Egyptians. I know some people will say oh Egyptians were black, some people say they were white, some people say they were in between. Some people say Egyptians are Egyptians. Um, obviously we know there wasn't white people, in, but we know that some of them had the features, some of the pharaohs, uh, that we were probably, probably seeing in North Africa right now. And uh, we know that Egypt was actually invaded by many nations over over a long period. Um, we also know that the, the, the period of the pyramids, and there's a period before the pyramids or the pre-dynastic pre period, we see that some of the images, well, one of the great images that I that I've see kind of represents Egypt is the Sphinx, which is a Greek word for, that was basically trying to translate it, it really means the Kof, Kofu that, that uh, it's like a man with a lion's body um, that actually shows you a man that has the features of what so-called academics will call Negro or Negroid cheekbones facial uh, there's a, there's a name for how the face kind of angle of the face um, but it's to be honest it's quite tiring the, um, the, the debates and the controversies of whether the Egyptians were true Africans and what is a true African? Africa was part of Tunisia um, during the Roman period Africa wasn't what we now what we now know as Africa, so Africa is North Africans anyway. Africa is based in North Africa, so a true African came from North Africa. Um, Africans that we have now, like my friends, <laughs> family, they were named Africa just over much later. So it's just uh, names, labels, whatever. Egyptians had an African um, culture. A culture that probably more relates to what you see in Africa now when it comes to matriarchy you know matriarchal line where the woman's line is important uh, we, we're not it's not a patriarchal society where everything is the man and so that's common with a lot of Africa a lot of the rest of Africa I'm talking about um, but at the end of the day Egypt had its own culture, you know, some of the stuff that it had was borrowed from Nubia, Nubia ruled Egypt at one point, 
you even had the um, the Hyksos invasions you had the Canaanites and all different people was flowing into Egypt Egypt was was like a place where people would want to be so obviously over a period of time it would have been um, it would start to be a mixture of people Egypt is not like Nigeria or Ghana it's not it's not um, how would I put it it's not like um, you don't just if you look at a Nigerian and a Ghanaian you, you're not going to be disputing whether they're white or black are you or whether they're Middle Eastern or whether they're Asian you're not going to dispute you know they're black so why are we disputing about Egypt the reason why we're disputing about it is because it's not clear cut is it it's not clear cut I, I know for a fact it's not clear cut okay so whatever we see in the museums and whatever we have is what we got none of us was in Egypt at the time the Egyptians represent themselves reddish brown but then they represent the women as light skin so some of it's symbolic oh, yeah. you know sometimes you see the gods like um, Amon represented as green or black and so you have all of this all of this to contend with I think Egypt they pride themselves on their culture they call themselves Kemet Kemet was the name 